everyone. For today, I'm going to discuss about measures of variability. So, for our measures of variability, I prepared an example. Let's have 83, 79, 86, 82, 78, 88, 84, 78, 79, 82, 83, 84, 86, and 88. So, mapapansin nyo, meron tayong 14 scores. Now, bago tayo mag-start, gawa muna tayo ng table. So, I already prepared a table para magagamit natin sa discussion. So, gumo, naggawa ako na uh, four, uh, four columns para ma-fill up natin uh, gamit yung ating mga scores or mga data. Now, I put X or gumamit ako ng X para i-represent niya yung ating mga scores. Uh, Nag-start ako mag- fill sa ating uh, mag fill up ng ating uh, table gamit yung mga scores natin mula sa mababa pataas para mas madali now we have 78, 79 82, 83 84, 86 and 88 makapansin din natin na meron lang tayo dito 7 scores kung saan ang given natin dito ay 14 scores Hindi na po natin isinasama sa table yung mga na-old na number. So, ang ginagawa na lang natin, yung isang number na lang ang um, isinasama natin sa mga na-old. So, isa lang yan. Kagaya ng 88, uh, twice siya na-old dito. So, isa na lang yung ginamit natin. As well as 79. So, meron tayong dalawang 79. Isa na lang din. Kaya, after natin siyang um, i-fill dito sa table, magkaroon lang tayo ng solid scores. At itong data na ito yung gagamitin natin no, para makapag-proceed tayo sa measures of variability natin. Now, after natin makapag-fill up ng ating first column, after natin malagay yung mga scores natin, uh, all we have to do is to get our mean. Paano nga ba kumuha ng mean? So, naturo ko na yon sa mga previous lessons natin sa ESL. So, for us to get our mean, we need to get the summation of our x over n. So, meaning, kailangan natin kunin yung summation ng ating scores dito. Now, we have 78 plus 79 plus 82 plus 83 plus 84 plus 86 plus 88. Magkakaroon tayo ng total na 580. So, yun yung summation ng x natin. So, pag kinuha natin yung total ng lahat ng scores na to, magkaroon tayo rin ng summation na 580. Yun yung magiging value ng summation of x natin. Now, paano natin kukunin yung n? That is the number of scores na ginamit natin sa table. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Meaning, our n is equal to 7. Proceed tayo sa formula natin ng pagkuha ng mean. We have x... I'm sorry, we have mean is equal to summation of x, which is 580. Over n, ang n natin ay 7. So our mean is equal to 580 divided by 7 is equal to 82. Point eighty six. So this is our mean. Kailangan natin yung ating mean para makapag-proceed tayo sa pangalawang column ng table natin. Dahil ang pangalawang column natin is x minus mean. Ano gagawin natin? Lahat ng score natin dito, ma-minus natin ng ating mean. So, start tayo dito sa 78. So, ito yun. 78 minus 82.86 is equal to negative 4.86. Next, 79 minus 82.86. This is equal to negative 3.86. Sunod. We have 
minus 82.86 0 0.86 next 83 minus 82.86 meron tayong 0 0.14 84 minus 82.86 meron tayong 1.14 86 minus 82.86 Meron tayong 3.14. Last is 88 minus 82.86. Meron tayong 5.14. Okay. So, proceed tayo sa third column natin. So, ang magiging third column natin is the absolute value of our x minus mean. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin nun, lahat ng meron tayong negative dito magiging positive. And yung mga positive natin na numbers remain as positive. Example, this is negative 4.86. So, magiging siya 4.86. This one, negative 3.86. Magiging 3.86. 0 0.86 positive na siya. So, remain lang siya as positive. 0 0.14 0 0.14 1 1.14 3.14 and 5.14 Okay na yung absolute value ng ating x minus mean. Magagamit natin mamaya yung susunod na gagawin natin sa mga susunod na formulas natin. So, kailangan natin kunin yung ating summation ng absolute value ng ating x minus mean. Para makuha natin yung summation, kailangan lang natin siyang i-add lahat. So, kailangan natin yung summation ng ating absolute value ng x minus mean. So that will be 4.86 plus 3.86 plus 0 0.86 plus 0 0.14 plus 1.14 plus 3.14 plus 5.14 It is equal to 19.14 So meron na tayong summation ng absolute value ng ating x minus mean and that is 19.14 Ngayon, para sa last uh, column natin, ang kukuha natin dito ay ang, ang square ng ating x minus mean. So, i-release -re natin sa twice or i-release -re natin sa dalawa or sa two yung ating absolute value ng x minus mean. Ibig sabihin, itong 4.86 ay itatimes natin sa sarili nga kasi i-release -re natin ang twice. So, 4.86 times 4.86, that is 23.6196. Next, 3.86 times 3.86. We have 14.8996. So, now, we have 0 0.86 times 0 0.86 0 0.73 0 0.14 times 0 0.14 that is 0 0.01 96 next is 1.14 times 1.14 we have 1.2 3.14 points 3.14 we have 9.85 last 5.14 times 5.14 is equal to 26 Point four one nine six.
kagaya ng ginawa natin dito sa absolute value ng x minus sumay natin, kukunin din natin ang summation ng ating last column. So that is the summation of the absolute value ng ating x minus mean raised to the second power. Kunin natin yung summation. That is 23.6196 plus 14.8996 plus 0.7396 plus 0.0196 plus 1.2 996 Adin natin sa 9.8596 and 26.4196 Magkakaroon tayo ng total na 76.8572 So once again dito meron tayong summation ng x na 580 our n is equal to 7 Then we have the summation of absolute value of x minus me, which is 9.14. We have the summation of the absolute value of our x minus me raised to the second power that is 76.8572. Lahat ng ito ang magagamit natin sa mga susunod na formula natin. Now, we have to get the range. Paano ba kung yung range? For us to get the range, we need to get our highest score na ginamit and our lowest score na ginamit. So, kukunin lang natin yung difference ng dalawang numbers. So, we have the highest score minus lowest score. So, sa table natin, we have 88 for our highest score. Tama? Okay, 88. Minus lowest score natin ay 78. Meaning, pag kinuha natin yung difference ng dalawa, ang magiging range natin ay 88 minus 78 is equal to 10. So this is our range. Okay, present tayo sa ating mean average division. So, we have mean average division. O yung tinatawag nating MAD. Para makuha natin ang ating mean average division, kaya kailangan natin gamitin yung formula ng summation of absolute value ng ating x minus mean over n. So, di ba? Meron na tayo dito ang uh, summation ng ating absolute value ng x minus mean which is 19.14. So, kopihin lang natin to 19.14. We have 19.14 over n. Ang n natin ay 7. Let's get the quotient. So, 19.14 divided by 7, it is equal to 2.73. So, this is our mean average deviation. Next, let's get the variance. Or represented siya as as a screen. Or as raised to the second power. Now, para makuha natin to, our variance is equal to summation of Absolute value of x minus mean raised to the second power over n minus 1. So, mayroon na tayong minus 1. Now, substitute ulit natin yung ating mga value. So, yung summation natin ng uh, absolute value ng x minus mean raised to the second power ay 
85 लगे लगे ना है and we have n ang n natin ulit ay 7 copy lang natin yung 7 that is 7 minus 1 kasi dito sa formula natin uh, gumamit tayo ng denominator na n minus 1 so our variance is equal to 76.8575 over 7 minus 1 which is 6 I divide natin yung 76.85 sabihin dito natin kay 6 kasi diba meron tayong 7 minus 6 at makakakuha tayo ng quotient na 12.81 meaning ang ating variance para sa data natin ay 12.81 now, proceed tayo sa standard deviation. So, standard deviation natin. So, para sa ating standard deviation, meron tayong formula na uh, represented pala siya as S. Kung dito, S raised to the second power, ito s na lang. So, we have s is equal to yung square root ng summation ng ating x minus mean raised to the second power over n minus 1. Okay? So, proceed tayo. We have standard deviation Square root now. Kunin natin ulit yung data natin. We have summation of the absolute value ng x minus mean raised to the second power which is 76.8572. 76.8572. Over n minus 1 which is 7 minus 1. So technically, uh, that this will become the square root of 76.8572 over 6. And that is equivalent to 12.81. So, ang ating standard uh, deviation ay ang square root ng ating 12.81. And the square root of 12.81 is 3.58. Ito na yung ating standard deviation. So, we have the range of 10. MAD or mean average deviation na 2.73. Meron tayong variance na 12.81. And we have standard deviation 3.58. So, makapansin nyo ako as na yung ating standard deviation ay square root lang ng ating variance. So, pag nakuha natin yung variance, para makuha natin yung standard deviation, kunin lang natin yung square root ng ating variance. And that is also equivalent to the standard deviation. Okay, so for the meantime, that will be all for the measures of variability. For the next topic, I will be having this measures of variability naman for the group data.